Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on introduction to hypergraphs in discrete mathematics course and data structures course. It is one of the advanced topic. Please uh, listen carefully. Okay, in this video we have to discuss about first one is what is the difference between ordinary graph and hypergraph? Second one is what is the definition of hypergraph? Third one is types of hypergraphs. Fourth one is order and size of hypergraph. Fifth one is applications of hypergraphs. So these are the five points that we are discussed in this video. Okay. First of all, First point, what is the difference between ordinary graph and hypergraph? Okay, in the case of ordinary graph, we can take any edge, that edge can connect or joins exactly two vertices. But in the case of hypergraph, an edge can connect or joins any number of vertices that is nothing but uh, hypergraph definition okay now we can see this example in this example okay we can take an edge even even edge can join how many number of vertices b1 vertex b2 vertex and b3 vertex an edge can join or connects how many number of vertices? B1, B2, B3. That is three vertices. Next, an edge E2 can connect two vertices. That is B2 and B3. Okay. Next, we can take an edge E3. E3 connects B3, B5 and B6 vertices. Next, an edge E4 connect only one vertex. That is a B4. Okay. So an edge can connect any number of vertices that is called as hypergraph. Okay. So in this one, E4 edge can connect only one vertex that is B4. Next, E2 edge can connect only two vertices B2 and B3. Next, E3 edge can connect or joins V3, V5 and V6 vertices. Next one, uh, these are the four edges, E1, E2, E3, E4. Okay, E1 edge can connect V1, V2, V3 edges. Okay, so in this graph, we can take any edge that edge is not directed hence it we can say that this type of graph is called as undirected hypergraph okay now we can go to the definition a hypergraph is a generalization of a graph in which an edge can connect or joins any number of vertices that is the simple definition of hypergraph. Okay. Next one is, uh, what is the size of the hypergraph? Size means number of edges in the hypergraph is called as size of the hypergraph. We can take this undirected hypergraph. What is the size of the uh, undirected hypergraph? That is nothing but number of edges or a number of hyper edges is nothing but size of the undirected hypergraph. In this one, how many number of edges are there? E1, E2, E3, E4. So four edges or a hyper edges present in the undirected hypergraph. Hence, we can say that size of the this hypergraph is equal to four. Okay. Next one, what is the order of this uh, undirected hypergraph? The order of the undirected hypergraph is nothing but number of vertices or number of nodes in this 
undirected hypergraph. How many number of vertices are there? B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 and B7. So, 7 vertices or 7 nodes present in this undirected hypergraph. Hence, we can say that order of this undirected hypergraph is equal to 7. Okay. Next one. There are two types of hypergraphs. One is directed hypergraph. Second one is undirected hypergraph. So, this is the example of undirected hypergraph in which every edge is not directed. So, that type of graph is called as undirected hypergraph. Whereas, in the case of directed graph, directed hypergraph in which every edge is directed. Okay. Then, that type of hypergraph is called as directed hypergraph. Okay. Next one is an undirected hypergraph H is a pair B comma E where B is a set of elements called nodes or a vertices. E is a set of edges or a hyper edges. E is a subset of V. Okay. So, this is the example of undirected hypergraph. So, this can be denoted by capital H. Capital H is equal to V comma E, where V is nothing but set of elements called nodes or vertices. So, V is equal to set of V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6, V7. E is nothing but set of edges or a hyper edges. So, E1, E2, E3, E4. Okay. E1 edge can join or a connects. What are the vertices? V1, V2, V3. V1, V2, V3. Next, E2 edge can connect two vertices V2 and V3. Next, E3 edge can connect V5, V3, V6. Okay. Next one, E4 edge can connect only V4 edge. So, this is the description about the undirected hypergraph. Now, we can go for directed hypergraph. The second type of graph is called as directed hypergraph. So, this is the example for directed hypergraph. A directed hypergraph H in which every edge is directed. So, that type of graph is called as directed hypergraph. Okay. So, this directed hypergraph is denoted by capital H that can be defined as set of V comma E where V is nothing but set of elements that can be called as nodes or a vertices. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, V is equal to set of 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. E is nothing but set of edges or a hyper edges. Okay. So, that contains E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Set of E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. So, the edge E1 can join 1 and 2 vertices. Next one, the edge E2 can join 2 and 3 vertices. Next one, an edge E3 can join 1 and 3. So, this one. An edge E4 can join 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 5. So, this can be denoted, uh, this can be represented within the parenthesis. 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 5. So, the same edge can join the vertices 2 and 4. The same edge can join the vertices 3 and 4. So, E4 edge can join 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 5. Okay. Next one, an edge E5 can join 3 comma 6 and 5 comma 6. Okay. Both 3 and 5 vertices are connect to vertex 6. Okay. So, that means 3 comma 6 and 5 comma 6. Okay. Here, 
an edge e5 can join the vertices 3 comma 6 and 5 comma 6 okay so both 3 and 5 vertices are joins vertex 6 okay an edge e4 can join 2 comma 4 vertices and 3 comma 5 vertices okay an edge e4 can join 2 4 3 5 an edge uh, e3 can join 3 and 1 an edge can join an edge e2 can join 2 and 3 vertices an edge e1 can join 1 and 2 vertices okay in a directed hypergraph an edge can join any number of vertices okay so now what is the order of this uh, directed hypergraph so that is number of vertices in the given graph that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so order is equal to 6 what is the size of the directed hypergraph is nothing but number of edges or a hyper edges present in the graph e1 e2 e3 e4 and e5 so size is nothing but 5 okay now what are the applications of hypergraphs so hypergraphs can be used in many applications so one is informatics second one is chemistry and third one is optimization problems and fourth one is scheduling problems so these are the several applications of hypergraphs so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video, please subscribe my channel name so Divella Srinivasarao. Thank you.